Hello and welcome to the Awakening of the Rebellion install guide for um, Empire War Forces of Corruption. I'm that one bullet and I'm going to run you through uh, the installation guide for this mod. Um, this video is going to consist of two parts. Um, the installation guide for the disc version of the game if you have separate copies of Empire at War and then separate disc copies of Forces of Corruption. And then the second half is going to be the Steam Gold edition of uh, installing the mod. Um, now the Steam Gold edition, be warned, I do not have the Steam edition. I'm running off of uh, research and educated guesses on how to do this. Um, um, but please bear with me on that part. It might not be correct, but I have a feeling that it will work because I know my way around the game a little bit. Um, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Um, be sure to watch both parts of the videos in case I miss something in the Steam version and um, and then you'll be wondering what, what you missed along the way. So please watch the whole video. So for both um, both installation methods, you want to make sure that both of your um, games are um, patched into the newest version. Um, so I'm going to provide a couple of links in the video description. And the first link is to the Empire War 1.5 official patch. You're going to download this and install it to wherever your game is installed. Um, I don't know if Steam handles the the patching of games. I'm assuming it does as it does for every other game. However, make sure that it is patched to 1.5 before installing this mod. Otherwise, your AI will not work. Um, so link number two will take you to the Forces of Corruption patch update 1.1. And please, you know, do the same thing as Empire War. Make sure that it's patched to 1.1 if you're on Steam. Or if you patched it before, make sure that the patches are up to date. Now, link number three will get you the download for the mod. This is the official website of the Steiner Modding Group, the people that uh, made the mod. So it's of course completely safe. I've downloaded the mod from this site myself. So this is the uh, link for the actual mod. And then this is the link for the master text file in case you're an English user. If you're German um, and you want to play this game in the original German um, way, then you do not need to do the the parts of the video where I will be converting the mod into um, into English. Um, so here I've downloaded uh, both of these. Um, and this will come in a zip file. You just unzip it and place it wherever you want. Um, the reason we have to do this for English users is because, of course, the mod is developed by German developers, and the mod I'm using in Let's Plays is the most recent, which is 2.50. The most recent English version they have released is 2.5, and it's not as up-to-date as 2.50, and they haven't released an official English version of this yet. So what we are doing is we are we're replacing some files. It's sort of a quote-unquote hack to make the German mod run in English. You're going to have a little bit of German leftovers, audio and, and text here and there, but it's better than nothing. So once you have this downloaded, you want to make sure uh, you know where your Empire War is downloaded. Now once again, this is for the disk version. Um, so normally it's in, it is installed in program files, LucasArts, Empire War, and Empire War Forces of Corruption. So I've created a dummy folder um, which I will be using uh, to run th uh, through the installation with you guys um, because my current Forces of Corruption folder um, is set up in a way that I already uh, like it and I don't want to actually overwrite what I've done there. So this dummy folder contains all the folders that we're going to be changing um, but your installation folder will look um, of course more like this. Um, so what you want to do now is you want to run the German setup and the installation is going to be in German so please follow along very carefully you're gonna click this which means next then I'm assuming this means understand and then next and now you're gonna click this button right here to find the correct installation um, which is going to be program files LucasArts Star Wars Empire War Forces of Corruption. I am of course going to select the dummy folder but you will be working in the actual corruption folder. 
So and then you click next. If you want desktop icon to have um, batch files that will launch the mod for you, um, you can check this. Um, I do not. And then click next and install. Now I'm not going to install because I've already done that before, so I'm just going to close this. But be sure to finish the installation. Um, and so what you're going to get is these are the things you're going to add on. These are the things that are going to be add on, uh, added on, excuse me, to um, the the overall forces of corruption folder. So we're going to be working in data and in mods. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go into data, XML. AI perceptual equations AOTR 2.50 what you want to do here is you want to remove this section of name and rename it so that it's just perceptual equations the, mo um, the mod accesses the actual data folder in the game and so it's going to look for this exact um, set of text to run the AI um, um, if you're running another mod um, in between playing um, Awakening of the Rebellion, make sure all you have to do is to just add an extra letter here, rename it, and now the game will not recognize this folder and, and the game won't crash on you if you try and run a different mod with this already installed. And if you want to play Awakening of the Rebellion, just once again remove that letter, continue, um, and rename it to this exact lettering. So now we back out, back into the main uh, Forces of Corruption folder. Now we're going to go into Mods. We're going to go into ARTR 2.50 Data Text. This is where you find the German master text file. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to delete this. And you're going to want to copy the English one into this folder. And now your text in your game is going to be in English instead of German. Next thing you want to do is you want to go into the um, back out um, into once again mods AOTR 2.50 data you want to go into audio then speech and this folder which is German you want to rename to English whoops I cannot spell English continue and now um, what this does is it allows for the um, events uh, the, the missions um, to pop up they'll still be played in German but at least um, they'll be played because if you have this to German um, they won't play at all and you'll be kind of lost so be sure to rename this folder you don't have to change anything else inside of it now um, so basically now you're done converting this to the English version so now what you're gonna do is you're going to run the game with this shortcut that is provided right here manually rename and play AOTR 2.50 you're gonna run that and you're golden you're done um, but if you want to play another mod in between, be sure to go back into data, XML, AI, perceptual equations, and rename this, add an extra letter or something, um, and then you can play another mod, because otherwise you will cause an exception error if this, is, if this stays the same and you try and run another mod. Uh, it's a little bit uh, more on the technical side, but all you need to know is um, just remember to make sure you're in your data folder, your perceptual equations is named the right way. All right, so this concludes the first half of the installation guide. I will move on to the Steam Gold Edition right after this. All right, so this is the second uh, part of this installation guide. This is for the Steam Gold users. Um, now, fair warning, I do not own the Steam Edition of this game. I do not own the gold edition of this game, but I have done some research and looked up uh, how to install this more or less, um, and this is going to be more of an educated guess. If someone with the Steam edition could possibly try this method and then get back to me and see if it works, it would be greatly appreciated. I will credit you in the comments and um, we can find I can finally uh, make this uh, an official working guide on how to install this mod for both versions of the game. So, you uh, first you want to know, if you don't know where your Steam games are installed, you want to um, go into Program Files, Steam, it's going to be in Steam Apps, Common, 
and it's going to be called Empire at War. Now, of course, mine is install guide. I don't actually own the game, but I've replicated it to a way where it looks like it should. So, inside you're going to find something like this with little extra files. Forces of Corruption is going to be in this folder, and this is exactly how it's going to look like once you install the mod. So, this is what you're going to click in the install path for when you install the mod. So, let's run through that once again. You're going to run the German setup. Once again, you're going to click next, next, and next. You're going to want to change this directory because it's going to default to as if you had the disk. So once again, program files. You're going to not do LucasArts. You're going to go down to Steam, then Steam Apps, then Common, and Empire at War. Where is it? Empire at War. You're going to click Corruption. You're going to press OK. Next. You're not going to need the desktop icons. I'll go into that later. So don't make any because they won't work. You're going to click Next and Install. Uh, of course, I'm going to stop the installation because I've done this previously, but make sure this runs through. It's going to take a little bit. So what this looks like... Um, is once you're in the corruption folder, of course the corruption folder will look a little different, but once again I only have the folders that are required to change. Now we're going to run through the exact same things that we did in the uh, disk version installation method. So we're going to go into data, XML, once again, perceptual equations, delete that, save it. Remember, if you want to run another mod, in between when you have this installed just add an extra letter I've explained this in the other version and just have it set to this so that the game can't find this folder when you're trying to run the mod and when you want to play Awakening of the Rebellion again you just rename it back to perceptual equations make sure it's spelled exactly like that then we're going to go into mods AOTR 2.5 data text you're going to get rid of this and you're going to copy in your master text file. Now you're going to back out. Once again, AOTR data, and then you're going to go into audio, speech. This is German. You're going to rename this to English and press OK. And you're going to back out. Now, um, this is where the Steam. Um, issue comes in because I don't exactly know how the um, launch directory works in Steam. Um, you cannot use these as if you would, or maybe you can. If someone with Steam Gold Edition could try and run these, um, let me know. In case you can't, um, there is a YouTube video, a link number four, to this guy right here um, who uh, gives a, a good um, a tutorial on how to install other mods in Empire War Gold Edition in Steam. So you just follow along with what he does, except instead of Phoenix Rising, which is the mod he is installing, you are going to uh, change the name to what you would find here, AOTR 2.50, spelled exactly the same. Um, and following this method should work, but once again, I don't exactly um, know if 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 it's going to work um, because I don't actually own the game. But if you found this tutorial helpful, please like, comment, and I hope this helped you out. Uh, if, if you want, you can post this video uh, out to other forums because I know that this, is a, this installation guide is not shown anywhere else and people really want to play this mod and, and uh, I, just wanna, I just want to make it able for other people to play this mod with little as little fuss as possible. Um, so once again, thank you for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.